Hello everyone and welcome to my last video of 2018. Today I thought that I would do what I do every year and talk a little bit about some of my memories and highlights and lessons that I learned in 2018. Because a lot of things happened in 2018. There are a lot of struggles, there are a lot of lessons that I learned, and there are also a lot of good things that happened as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to try to go in chronological order. I have some things on my phone that I want to talk about. I started the year feeling pretty positive. I was off from school for most of January and I had a lot of time to hang out with my friends. So that was really fun, but at the same time I was also trying to find a job. So I started applying to a lot of jobs in January and I really wanted a job on campus. So I applied to probably about 20 different on-campus jobs and I had three interviews. And then about a week after that, I got an offer from my current job. And I obviously took that offer. I think I officially signed my contract in February, but I was pretty sure that I was gonna get the job at the end of January. So I started my new job and I was in my second semester of sophomore year at that time. Um, a lot was going on during that time. It was pretty stressful because I had started my new semester and I was getting trained for my new job. But everything was going pretty well until I tried to fill a prescription at CVS and I found out that I'd been put on another insurance plan without my permission or knowledge so that started a huge battle between me and the state of California and a company and United Healthcare. And that whole insurance situation was by far the most difficult thing that I had to deal with this year. So I made hundreds of calls to the company United Healthcare and different departments in the state of California. So in March I was making a lot of phone calls and trying to sort everything out and to make matters worse I also got a really bad allergic reaction on my fingers during this time so I was really upset and frustrated and it was really hard for me to deal with, especially since I care so much about my country and my state. And I vote in every election, and I volunteer on campaigns, and I go to community meetings, and all of that stuff. When you put in that much time and effort to your community, it kind of sucks when you don't have rights that you expected to. But March wasn't completely terrible. I did start volunteering for Gavin Newsom's campaign for governor, and I went to March for All Lives in San Jose. So both of those things were really awesome, and they kind of distracted me from some of the negative things that were going on with the insurance. Then in early April, I went to the PRSA Regionals Conference in Fullerton, and that was really awesome. That was my first PRSA PRSSA conference ever, and it was really awesome to hear more from PR professionals, especially PR professionals in the entertainment world. In April, I also filed a complaint with the California Department of Insurance with the help of someone from Evan Lowe's office so that I could try to choose my own insurance and get on a plan that would cover allergy treatment because that was really what my goal was. Everyone at Evan Lowe's office was so helpful and I'm so thankful for their support. I was completely lost without them and I wouldn't have known what to do. My complaint ended up being forwarded to the Department of Employee Benefit Security and I was unfortunately denied by them in early May. So that was not a fun time. I was really upset and angry and frustrated and I thought that I'd have to pay for everything out of pocket for the rest of the year. Also in May, Angel and Howie and Eva started living with us and that was really awesome. At the beginning of June, I was doing a lot of campaigning for Gavin Newsom and then I voted for him and a bunch of other awesome people in the June primary and he ended up winning and going on to the general election and a bunch of other people that I voted for also ended up winning. And then a few days after that, because of luck and social media, I was able to get someone at NBC Bay Area to investigate my case. I still don't know what happened to this day, but in early June, I found out I was taking off the United Healthcare plan and I was able to get on my dad's Aetna plan. Finding that out was probably one of the best moments of 2018. I was so happy. And I called up the allergy clinic near my house and I was finally able to book an appointment. Unfortunately, they were all booked up, so I didn't get an appointment until over a month later. But I was really busy with orientation on campus, so that kind of distracted me. And I also went to VidCon with my dad and my brother at the end of June. And it was just really great to see some of my favorite creators and it just really inspired me to put more effort into my YouTube channel. Then in July, I was still working on campus and we were doing a lot with orientation and I got to meet a lot of you which was really awesome and then on July 19th I had my initial appointment at the allergy clinic and I did my allergy test found out that I was allergic to a lot more things than I thought I was and then in that appointment I also signed my consent forms to start immunotherapy or allergy shots so that was really awesome I finally felt like I was getting somewhere so then on August 2nd I got my first immunotherapy shot later on in August I went to the APA conference in San Francisco to support my friend Anisha who was presenting and that was really cool that was my first ever APA conference and I was really proud of Anisha for presenting. Then on August 15th, I finally turned 21. So that was pretty cool. It also made me feel a little bit old. Then on August 21st, I started my first semester of my junior year of college. I was genuinely excited to go to four out of five of my classes. So that was really great. Then in September, PRSA started up again and that was really awesome. At the end of September, I also celebrated one of my favorite holidays, which is National Voter Registration Day. But I made a video and I got a bunch of people to register to vote, which is awesome because as you probably already know, I'm really passionate about voting and registering people to vote. Then in October, I did a lot of campaigning for Gavin Newsom's campaign, I was spending the majority of my free time campaigning. Then at the end of October, Jim Acosta came to my school and he gave a talk and we got to meet him. And that was really awesome because I've been a fan of his for years and years and years. And then in early November, I was doing even more campaigning. I ended up texting over 100,000 voters over the course of the campaign, which is something I'm really proud of. And then on November 6th, I voted in the general election and Newsom won, which was obviously really awesome. And a bunch of other awesome people won. So that was really great. And then on November 17th, my brother turned 18, which kind of made me feel old, but I'm also really happy 
that he's an adult now. Then later on in November, there were two fires in California and the air quality in my area was absolutely terrible. And my school and work were closed for two days and I had to wear a mask whenever I went outside. So I was unfortunate, but the air quality eventually improved. Then on Thanksgiving, I did the Turkey Trot 10K in San Jose. And that was really awesome. It was my first race in probably about 10 years. I only started running again in May of this year. Then at the very end of November, my dad gave his thesis presentation and it was so cool to watch him do that and accomplish his goal. Then in December, I went to my first ever media projects for PRSA. Like most college students, I spent most of December studying for finals and working on projects and I did pretty well in most of them and my grades were pretty good. So that was awesome. And then after I was done with finals, I went to Carmel and Pebble Beach with my friends Kiri and Anisha. So that was really nice. I just kind of needed to relax a little bit after finals. Then after finals were over, I worked on campus for about a week and then I flew to the East Coast to see my family. I haven't seen some of them in more than five years, so it was really great to catch up with everyone. So and that's pretty much everything that happened this year. 2018 was not an easy year for me, but I really learned how to stand up for myself and how to fight for myself and fight for my health. And I also got a lot of great campaign experience and I learned a lot in my classes and I just continued to get involved in my local community. And I did a lot of advocacy work for transportation policy change. I really enjoyed and took a lot out of my classes. I learned a lot about strategic communication and strategy in general. And I learned a lot of things that I was actually able to apply to my real life, which was really awesome. And I also really enjoyed my job this year. It was great to be able to work with students and to help people save money and live a more sustainable life by using public transportation and sustainable transportation. My coworkers were really nice and my bosses were so supportive of me. This is one of the first jobs where I felt like my bosses really cared about my future and not just what I was doing at the company. So I think that's pretty much everything that I want to say about 2018. But I'm excited to bring the lessons I learned in 2018 into 2019. I have a lot of exciting things planned for the new year and I'll probably talk about that in a future video. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Comment your favorite memory of 2018 down in the comments below. I love you all so much. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you next year with a new video. Goodbye.